Hey guys, what's up? So, Apple just dropped a brand new update for the iPhone is iOS 18.5. Now the big question is, what's new in iOS 18.5? Should you even bother downloading it? And what cool new features does it bring? I'm breaking everything down in this video, so stick around, you don't want to miss this. Alright, first up, we've got new dynamic wallpapers. Yup, Apple's added a pride-themed wallpaper that's actually kind of dope. You can access it straight from your lock screen, and every time you lock and unlock your phone, the look changes. Finally, RCS messaging support is rolling out in a bunch of regions. That means you can now send messages from iPhone to Android and vice versa. Kind of like iMessage, but using the internet. To turn it on, just go to your iPhone settings, scroll down to apps, tap into messages, and you'll see the RCS toggle there. Flip that on and you're good to go. Next up, there's a small tweak in Apple Mail. If you tap the three dots in the top corner and go to show contact photos, you can now hide or unhide contact images for people you're emailing. It's nothing crazy, but it's a nice little customization option. Now this one's kind of hidden, but actually useful. If you head to settings, then general and Apple Care and warranty, you'll now see a full list of all your Apple devices tied to your account. Tap on any of them, like your Apple Watch, and you'll see details like your warranty status when it expires and what parts are covered. Pretty helpful if you ever need support. Now for my music lovers, if you use Apple Music, there's a fresh new Shazam playlist called Viral Chart. It's packed with trending songs from TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, basically everything that's blowing up online right now. No need to keep opening Shazam every time you hear a banger, just check this playlist and you're set. So, should you update to iOS 18.5? Honestly, it's not a major update. No crazy redesigns or anything, but it does fix a bunch of bugs from the last version. So if your iPhone's been acting up lately, this update might smooth things out. Go ahead and download it. It's worth it just for the bug fixes alone. All right, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys found this iOS 18.5 breakdown helpful. If you did, make sure to hit that like button, drop a comment if you've already updated, and don't forget to subscribe for more iPhone updates and tech content. Catch you in the next one. Peace.